I bet you didn't know how simple the scientific method really is. It sounds complicated, doesn't it? A system reserved for academics with years of study under their belts. But the truth is far simpler. The scientific method is nothing more than a systematic way of understanding the world around us. It's a process of asking questions, making educated guesses, and testing those guesses to see if they hold water. Think of it like detective work. A detective observes a crime scene, gathers clues, and uses those clues to form a hypothesis about what happened. Then, they test their hypothesis against the evidence. The scientific method is much the same, just applied to the broader universe. It's a framework for exploration, a roadmap to discovery that anyone can follow. You don't need a lab coat or a fancy degree to think like a scientist. All you need is curiosity and a willingness to put your ideas to the test. This essay will delve into the heart of the scientific method, breaking down its seemingly complex steps into digestible bites. We'll explore how observation sparks curiosity, how hypotheses are formulated, and how experiments separate fact from fiction. Every scientific endeavor begins with observation. It's the spark that ignites the flame of inquiry, the moment we pause and truly see the world around us. It could be something as simple as noticing that plants grow towards sunlight, or as profound as observing the intricate dance of celestial bodies in the night sky. The key to observation is active engagement. It's not enough to simply see, we must observe with intent, asking questions about the why and the how. Why do leaves change colour in the fall? How do birds navigate over vast distances? These questions, born from observation, form the bedrock of scientific inquiry. Let's take a simple example. Imagine you're a child again, filled with a boundless curiosity about the world. You notice that a ball, when thrown into the air, always comes back down. This repeated observation sparks a question. Why? Why doesn't the ball just keep going up? This simple question, rooted in observation, can be the starting point for understanding gravity. Observation is the foundation upon which the entire scientific method rests. It's the wellspring of our curiosity, the driving force that compels us to seek answers and unravel the mysteries of the universe. Every scientific endeavor begins with observation. It's the spark that ignites the flame of inquiry, the moment we pause and truly see the world around us. It could be as simple as noticing plants grow towards sunlight or observing celestial bodies in the night sky. The key to observation is active engagement. We must observe with intent, asking why and how. Why do leaves change color in the fall? How do birds navigate vast distances? These questions form the bedrock of scientific inquiry. Imagine you're a child again, filled with curiosity. You notice a ball, when thrown, always comes back down. This sparks a question, why? This simple question can be the starting point for understanding gravity. Observation is the foundation of the scientific method. It's the wellspring of our curiosity, the driving force that compels us to seek answers and unravel the mysteries of the universe. Once we've made an observation that piques our curiosity, the next step is to formulate a hypothesis. A hypothesis is an educated guess, a tentative explanation for the phenomenon we've observed. We might hypothesize that an invisible force pulls the ball back down to Earth. This hypothesis, while simple, is based on the observation that objects don't float away. A hypothesis gives us a starting point for further investigation. 
The scientific method is about refining our understanding through testing and revision. It's a beacon in the darkness, leading us towards a deeper understanding of the natural world. Section 4. Experimentation. Putting your hypothesis to the test. Now comes the exciting part, putting our hypothesis to the test. Experimentation is the heart of the scientific method. It involves designing tests to support or refute our hypothesis. A well-designed experiment isolates the specific variable of interest. For example, testing a new fertilizer on plant growth. We meticulously collect data throughout the experiment. The data determines if our hypothesis holds up. If results align, our hypothesis gains credibility. If not, we revise our thinking. Either way, we learn something valuable. Section 5. Conclusion. The enduring power of inquiry. The scientific method, while often presented as a rigid set of steps, is better understood as a fluid and iterative process. It's a journey of discovery driven by curiosity, observation, and a willingness to challenge our assumptions. It's a method that's as relevant in the laboratory as it is in our everyday lives. Whether we're troubleshooting a problem with our car or evaluating the claims of a news article, the principles of the scientific method can guide us towards more informed decisions. It encourages us to think critically, question assumptions, and seek evidence before drawing conclusions. The scientific method is more than just a tool for scientists. It's a way of thinking, a framework for understanding the world around us. It's a testament to the power of human curiosity and our innate desire to make sense of the universe we inhabit. So, the next time you encounter a question or observe something that sparks your interest, remember the scientific method. Embrace your curiosity, ask questions, and never stop exploring.